So good morning. Uh, we'll be heading down the farm shortly. Just having a quick coffee. Can't beat it. Um, and we'll be showing you uh, how we changed the um, cutting head on the steel bush cutter and uh, the FS91. And then we'll be going down the farm, unload some livestock feed, etc. etc. See you soon. So, good morning. We're swapping this grass cutting nylon over and taking this off, and we're mounting this onto it, which is for more for cutting bush, etc. So, that's the plan. So, take off that fitting, which all you've done is put in the anchor bolt. The other way, lefty loosey, righty tighten, uh, which there you go, plate comes off, and then you put the new plate on it, mountain blade, and then put the other section onto it, which I'll show you as I'm doing. Uh, mounted the blade on a little on the plate and then we get this attachment which then goes over the top and marry that into there and then you get your locking nut which then goes onto the outer edge and you put that onto your Nut. Tighten that up, and then you, with the little locking pin, which is here, keep that locked in, and then you tighten it up using the steel uh, bush cutter spanner that always comes with it and then tighten it up and there you have the um, new blade mounted to the steel bush cutter and there you see all on ready to go I've got their feed Lamb. There are the lambs this morning. So here's some of the livestock feed. We got a veteran, veteran uh, mix from Mole Valley. That's for Murphy. He does like that. So. This is Bono, it's compound feed, which he loves. Uh, this is what we feed the sheep. It's uh, Mole Valley, owned by farmers, four farmers. Compound feed. Um, two bags normally last them a week. Um, with hay as well, supplement plus the grass that's on the fields and the nettles and the brambles that normally lasts them normally lasts them a week. Their own thing is what you gotta also remember is these boys are half the size of normal commercial sheep. Uh you know, they are small. A lot smaller than normal sheep. See, this is why farmers have lamb rovers. <laughs> Look at the state of it. Rope, blankets, harnesses, 
petrol, straw, hay, brush, lambing kit. Yeah, typical farmer's vehicle. So there's our bono. Not the best of you to see him from. All happy, he's got his feed. Um, as you can see, there's a ringneck pheasant, two hens there, another three hens there. Uh, there's five hens and one ringneck pheasant. So he's got himself a nice little group of uh, hens. But yeah, here's our boy. Very happy. There's Debbie putting out some hay for the sheep. Um, Murphy's had his feed. Um, had a little cheeky uh, wander into the field that we're trying to save for hay. Um, and <laughs> yeah, he got brought back out. So now he's in with the sheep again, eating some um, lovely hay. That's nice and fresh, so he'll be happy. As you can see, there's a little lamb down there. It's nice getting close. It is quite a friendly lamb. Obviously, Debbie's putting out some nice piles of hay for him. But yeah, she you know always puts it out in big piles. That way, it's enough for them to all have a little bit in their own little way, which is good. So yeah, it's all, all looking good today. I think she's putting that over there nearer the lamb so the mum and that can have it. But it's always nice for them to have separate piles. So, obviously I'd like to say happy anniversary to mum and dad. Unfortunately, Dad, I know you're in hospital today, but, you know, you're still together. You're still good. Um, and you'll soon be out of hospital once once they get everything under control. Um, thanks for being the best mum and dad to, uh, to me and obviously the rest of us. Um, yeah, thank you. Happy anniversary. And then obviously the rest of you, you know, thank you very much for subscribing. Um, I was a little bit down yesterday. I don't know if you noticed in the video. Um, I was probably only, probably only about 50, 60% yesterday. I don't know why. I mean, it's probably with everything that's going on with um, dad and, you know, waiting for the you, um, lambs. You know, everything just all sort of piled up. Um, so, yeah, I was a little bit down yesterday, probably 50, 60% okay. Um, yeah, I had a sort of bit of a low, flat day yesterday. But feeling a lot better today. Um, had a little chat to Debbie yesterday evening. Um, chilled out a little bit. And, yeah, I feel a lot better today. So, you know, it just goes to show, you know, it doesn't matter what who you are and what you are you know you can get stressed you can get worried you know i i obviously was i didn't didn't realize i was yesterday until i sat back and watched the video that i updated the long video and i thought jesus christ yeah and you know i knew i was a little bit down but yeah we had a busy day yesterday as well um we had a phone call we had to go and uh a friend of the family, she had fallen down the stairs. Um, so we had to go around and get the ambulance to her. Um, unfortunately, she's had to go to hospital as well. Um, so, yeah, it was a weird, strange day yesterday. Um, but, yeah, it's looking a bit better, a bit brighter today. You know, it's not raining today. The sun's coming out. We're trying to come out. 
What's that? You gonna do a little letter? Okay. So Debbie's just gonna. No, she's got a feed bag there. She's gonna need a couple of bits of litter around, so she's gonna go and pick that up. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, Molly had uh, got through the gate and uh, was uh, going down into where all the sheep are. Uh, with the hay and obviously with the ewes being pregnant and then lamb. Um, I had to stop her, get her coming back. Um, you know, she does. She means well. And, you know, she she wouldn't hurt them. She loves the sheep. I mean, she's so many of these sheep in this field. I suppose we've probably four or five of them have been hand-reared or brought up at home for a brief time and she's always been there you know with them playing playing football with them as well believe it or not you know because the little lambs they love knocking things around with her head and molly you know she loves the ball running around and head butting the ball so yeah they've all it's been strange but yeah she's pretty good with them but it's the older rams that would be a little bit protective over the use so i need to keep her out but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for all the subscribers. It's a long journey for us, and it's you know we try and show you everything of our lives. Um, some days it's a little bit stressed, a little bit wild. Um, some days are fun. Some days are a little bit sad. Obviously, you know. It, it's, it's life in general, so we'd like to show you the full picture of the struggle that we have. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, unfortunately, uh, we haven't got any more lambs, not yet, but maybe tomorrow. Who knows? Maybe. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching, and we shall see you all tomorrow. Molly, and we'll see you all tomorrow.